<laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being here today to celebrate Alex and Sam and Dale and their big celebration here. Uh, several months ago, Alex gave me a ring when I was sitting in work down in Sydney, and he asked if I'd be his best man. And you said no. <laughs> Couldn't have been more honored to say yes and to uh, accept this position today. So I'll start off by just giving you uh, a little idea of the evolution of our 23-year relationship at this point in time <laughs> by reading a short letter I once wrote to Alex when he was on his confirmation retreat at age 15. So hang on one second. This is good. <laughs> this is my picture. Dear Alex, it seems like each year we become closer and closer and we become more alike. Now I can see you as Alex Isold, the brother and close friend, rather than Alex, the annoying run. <laughs> You've been starting to reveal the great young man you are becoming. Just make sure you make the most of the years you have now, because they will go by quicker than you can imagine. Keep it up, little bro. I know that I'm always here for you if you ever need it. Congrats, Andy. So, I was 17 and Alex was 15. That's about the transition period between uh, when you kind of dislike your little brother and when you think you start to get kind of cool. <laughs> so, the ensuing eight years of Alex's life proved that not only did he read the letter, but he paid special attention to the words, make the most of the years you have now. <laughs> I think that we all know this is <laughs> So after dominating his final few years in high school, Alex enrolled at the University of Maryland, and he moved into an off-campus house with myself and several of my close friends. Yeah. <laughs> As just a young freshman, Alex managed to become a rather instant legend amongst our close group of friends <laughs> and probably the group, Greek community in general. <laughs> Simultaneously, he became, <laughs> he became very successful in illustrating the inverse relationship between partying and grade point average. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, uh, I think many people here can remember some of this. Our dialogue gradually became saturated with phrases such as, uh, dude, have you seen my phone? <laughs> we were completely shoeless. <laughs> no, no, it's cool. Maybe at Bentley's. <laughs> Who wants to play Thunderstruck? <laughs> and, please delete these photos. <laughs> So, when I was in my ninth and final semester at the University of Maryland, <laughs> nearly all of my friends had graduated and were starting their own careers, but Alex is still on campus. And without hesitation, he and his friends made room at their house, and they invited me to stay with them that semester. And it was that fateful semester that brought Alexander, John, and I sold and Samantha Dale Ford together and uh, changed the course of their lives forever. I can still remember the first time I met Sam and Dale, and the look in Alex's eyes when he described what she meant to him. Sam and Dale, I can't... <laughs> I still can't fully comprehend how you managed to tame this bachelor, <laughs> but I think that we're all very grateful for it. <laughs> now, and although you have won the prize today, we can't stop here. We cannot stop here because, I'll get to it. <laughs> Taming wild men is an art form that many other women wish to master. You need to take this talent and turn it into cash. <laughs> I'm talking book deals, talk shows, advice columns, the whole lot. This is your future. You've made it happen once in a very difficult situation. How to Train Your Boyfriend by Sammy D. <laughs> New York Times bestseller list, 2012. <laughs> anyway, I want to conclude my speech with an official transfer of duties. On my mom's side of the family, I am the oldest person in my generation. As a result, I have never had any precedence to help guide me through life's experiences. 
Since birth, I have been dubbed the experimental child. Well, folks, today I just witnessed my younger brother get married before me, setting the precedent for the entire generation. So, although I was the experimental child, Alex, you are the experimental adult. best brother, and to the newest addition to my family. Cheers, you two. Well done, Amy. I have made of honor, Melissa Buck.